Mark, just how tough is that one to take this afternoon? You know, it, it, you put, we put our back four that was a little bit improvised, obviously the loss of Tate, Hennigan and uh, Hamill, you know, three of our, probably our three most experienced defenders. In the end, cost us, you know, because the, the, the back four that started didn't cope with their physicality, particularly the lad Haber, I felt, in the first half. Every time the ball went in the box, it looked like they were going to score, and most of the time they did. Um, so that was a surprise, but obviously a disappointment. Um, what can you say? I mean, these are the players that we had available. Um, we couldn't do anything about that. I mean, I, I, you know, I have signed, you know, these players as well, so or most of them. So I do take responsibility. You know, young Zach uh, Jules is a young centre half with not a lot of experience, and has found himself where you know he was he, he was brought here to back up the lads, and you know we expected him um, maybe to be playing alongside Hamill and uh, and McManus uh, rather than playing instead of them. So, you know. He had a difficult day, but you know we have to forgive him. It's you know again, as I say, it's my responsibility. I've signed, I've brought him here. I knew he'd make mistakes. Unfortunately, at the moment, any mistakes he's making are costing him. Dundee had five shots on target in the first half, five goals. Was it just a case of it was their day today and the luck was going for them? No, it wasn't luck. You know they they were much stronger than us. We didn't win headers. We didn't win second balls in that early period. You know, and uh, it, you know at times our, our, our defending within the box was shambolics. Um, but the, you know, this is a back four that we've put together this week, and we've worked, for, we've worked on them. You know, trust me, we've worked on them. As I often say, people, we've worked hard to be as bad as that. You know, um, so next week we might have Tate, we might have Hammy back. If we don't, it'll be the same four. Maybe I mean, Carl McHugh went to centre half and did brilliantly. Maybe Carl McHugh's an option. He has played there. Um, he does play there, so we might have to look at that. Um, all we can do is go into the training ground and try and prepare. Uh, not try, but we will prepare as best we can for the Kilmarnock game next week and make ourselves more difficult to beat. We always look at the positives, of course, Mark, and the league table is as is tight as it is. So next week, it can turn around just as quickly as that, can't it? Looking forward, how are you feeling? I think that, you know, we're a team that can do as well the next week as we do badly one week, you know. So that's what we've got to do. We're mortal, you know. They they, they know they're, they're, they're fallible. But, you know, we've, I think we've got an honest group of players, you know, and, uh, you know, they're disappointed and they're hurting at the, 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 the performance in the first half and they're disappointed with the goals we lost. Um, you know, but, you know, it's our job to organise them and inspire them and, and, and encourage them to play better than they played in the first half. So, you know, so, you know as far as I'm contained, I, I mean, I take full responsibility for it. Um, um, what they've got to do now is just make sure they recover, that they work hard at training, that mentally they're with us, that they, they, they don't get detached. You know, we want to see, uh, we want to hear voices. We, 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 we want them to work hard, but we want to uh, encourage them to not to go into their shells. You know, we can't afford that. You know, we've got to sort of stay as a group, work hard together, and hopefully we can come through it. Thanks a lot. Again, Mark. Cheers.